In case you didn't hear, Elon is 121 years old, so the community is honoring the men who helped shape the school. Dr. Danieli. Our Tim Barber was with Dr. Danieli during the celebration and joins us now from Under the Oaks. Tim, how is Founders Day different from past celebrations? His personality and Elon's personality are the same, have been for 50 years. There's people that have made impacts, but not quite as large as he. Brian O'Shea suggested Dr. Danley to be the first living Founders Day honoree. <laughs> in the fall of 1941, Danley enrolled in Elon as a freshman, beginning a long marriage between a man and his alma mater. Like any marriage, this one takes commitment. You can see the hard work on his face. But you can also see the joy the union has brought him and the people it produced along the way. In the fall of 41, having never been on this campus, I came as a student. At a fireside chat in Whitley, he talked about his freshman year. The total cost for tuition and fees for the first semester was $82.50. And the time Elon's fifth president, Ellie Smith, called him after graduate school. He said, we'd like for you to teach chemistry here. Have you ever imagined what it's like to die and go to heaven? <laughs> I told my mother that I'm going to name a child after him, and so she's hoping that it's not a girl. Daniel Shutt is Dr. Danley's grandson. I think it's important while he's still with us to be able to say what he's meant to us. I'm rarely ever at a loss for words, but I don't think I have words to express how fantastic it is to have this kind of acceptance in this university community. A community that Danley himself helped build. He was the president that began to plant the seeds of true academic excellence that we are seeing blossom on this campus today. To symbolize that growth, the school is planting a tree in his honor. Just to give you some context, that $82 tuition today would still only be about $1,100. And while we're on the subject of Dr. Dana Lee, we should tell you there will be a Phoenix 14 News special report on his life at the university later this spring.